Manus versus this new Chinese AI super agent, which is GenSpark.ai, right? Now I have a free account on GenSpark, so I'm not paying for it. It's free to access. And from what I've seen it is absolutely insane what it can do, right? So let me show you an example of this and how it works. So if we open up this example right here, this is GenSpark. And if we pull up this example, we actually created a full SEO agency website, like you can see right here based on us and who we are, right? So if we pull this up, create a few different versions of the website as well, and it hosted it on a subdomain. So this is a website that it built. Literally all we said was research Julian Goldie and create an SEO agency website for him and just went off and did his magic, all right? Now this is a very clear competitor. They're both from China, but this is like a clear competitor to Manus. So we'll be comparing them side by side and seeing what we get back. Now, if we want to compare the exact same task, let me show you an example of similar tasks compared to Manus versus GenSpark AI to give you an example of, okay, which one creates a better output, right? So if we come on to an example website that we built, all these links are inside the AI Profit Boardroom if you want to check this stuff out, okay? You can see this is an example website that we built with Manus, all right? Now, it's not bad. So we said, just go off, create a website about Julian Goldie, et cetera, research him, and then create the site. And it's not bad, but if you compare it versus the output from GenSpark, the difference is stark, like the difference in quality of this website from GenSpark versus Manus is huge, right? This seems to have created a much better output. You can see the design, the UI is super nice. It's actually created images of me, whereas the Manus output didn't create an image of me at all. And then if we keep scrolling down here, it's even found out our prices. It's written a really long homepage for us. The navigation bar works perfectly, as you can see. And also it has like a book of free strategy section along with real testimonials from us, right? So these are all actual testimonials from the page, which is insane. So it's just pulled all that information, including our legendary team. So it's found all the pictures of my team, insert that into the web page right here. Whereas if we go onto the Manus page, it's got nothing really about us or our team. Let's go on the about section of Manus and see what we got here. So you can see it doesn't have a real image of us. It has some customized information, but there's no information about me or my team, etc. And from what I can see, like you just get superior outputs directly from GenSpark. It's even pulled in, for example, real testimonials from clients that we've worked with, like you can see right here, crazy stuff. So that's an example. We're going to pull up some more examples right here. And for example, if we go on to LN, what we want to do is compare the pricing as well. So believe that both have free plans. Let me pull up. So this is GenSpark AI and we'll go into Manus in a sec as well. All right. So this is Manus. If we check out the price in here, you can see the price in. So it's $39 per month for Manus starter and you get up to two tasks running concurrently or you get Manus $200 a month. doesn't seem like they've got a free plan from what I can see inside the pricing section. If we go over to GenSpark, and then we go over to upgrade plan. We can see how much this costs. So they actually have a free plan with 200 free credits per day, or it's just $24.99 build monthly, right? So it's actually cheaper than Manus. I'm sure they're aware that their prices are cheaper than Manus as well, which is quite interesting. And this seems a lot more powerful. So for example, if we go into Manus right here, from what I understand, Manus cannot create videos, right? So if I say to Manus, okay, create video animation about AI SEO. We'll see if it can do that because I believe it's using Claw 3.7 Sonnet, which doesn't seem to have to create animations, right? Whereas for example, if we go back to GenSpark, we find the example right here. So this is an output from GenSpark, which actually created a 19 second long video. Like you can see, you can actually play it right here. You can switch between different styles as well, and it can generate videos based on the latest news. It says a South Park parody of recent news. It creates a video right here. You can play it back, etc. And yeah, it can create videos and then stitch multiple videos together. So actually, what I actually did here is it created four, five second long videos, stitched them together inside a HTML. And yeah, it was, it's crazy how we can do that, right? You can also, for example, convert YouTube videos into the slides. So if we replay this example, it's right. Here's a YouTube video, make it into 10 page slides. 
and then it just goes off and does its magic, all right? Whereas if we go into Manus here, I'm going to say, you figure this out and we'll see if it can actually create videos for us. From what I'm aware, it cannot create video animations. So it's going off and doing its magic. The other thing that I've noticed as well, for example, with GenSpark was like in the space of 15 or 20 minutes, it created this website, right? It was pretty fast when it did that. Whereas Manus can be a little bit slow. You have to go back and forth with it. You see how, for example, here, if I say create a video animation about AI SEO, it's going to ask me loads of questions and it's quite slow, like going back and forth in the chat, right? It's autonomous, but it still requires some input, right? Whereas for example, inside GenSpark, if you say, okay, research student Goldie, create a website about him, it just goes off and does it, right? And it creates like multiple different versions of that website as well. So pretty interesting stuff. What they can both do is they can both deploy to subdomains. So for example, here, you can open this in a new window and it's hosted on genspark.site. This is working as magic, but I don't think it's going to be able to create the video directly. We'll see if that works as magic in a second. We've also got, for example, deep research reports. So this is a deep research report from Genspark. It actually creates a really nicely formatted research report. And then you've got the table of contents on the left-hand side, the actual report in the middle. And then you can actually ask it information inside the chat here. So the UI is super nice as well. And then you can create copies of what other people have generated, which is super interesting too. And then you've got all these different styles of stuff you can create. And this is the presentation it came back with. So it took that YouTube video, right? So this was a demo and it said, here's a YouTube video, make it into 10 page slides with sleep design, etc." And it turned that YouTube video into an actual PowerPoint presentation with real images and everything else, right? It's crazy stuff. So that's the original video. It analyzed the video and then summarized it and turned it into a really nice presentation, right? So it's actually quite a cool way to repurpose content. So for example, what I could do is I could go onto my YouTube videos and say, hey, create a blog post about this particular video. And then it would just go off and do its magic, right? Pretty simple and powerful. So it's amazing to see as well what's coming out of, say, something like China versus other Western countries, right? I don't really see these autonomous agents coming out of other countries. Like, for example, there is Convergence AI, but it's nowhere near as powerful as this. Like, Convergence AI is good for just going on the internet, doing a couple of tasks, doing a bit of research and stuff. But I don't see it having the full power of stuff like this, especially because we're using this for free, right? We're using GenSpark for free. You can upgrade to the pay plan if you want more credits. But this can do pretty much anything that you want, essentially. The other thing that we can do here, for example, if we generate a website, like we can see right here, we can actually download that and we can export it as a PDF. Or what we can do is this is one long HTML file, right? So we can actually grab the HTML code here, save that to our laptop, put it in a folder, and then host it on something like Netlify, drag and drop the folder in, and then get that hosted on the subdomain, right? So for example, if you go on the AIProfitBoardroom.com, let me open this up for you. This page right here was actually generated with Manus and it's a pretty nice landing page, pretty nice landing page right there. And we generated it with Manus directly. So you could do the same sort of thing inside GenSpark as well, which is pretty cool. You can also, for example, inside the video generation section here, you can switch between all these different agents. And that's another thing that Manus doesn't seem to have right now. Like you don't seem to have to switch between APIs, right? So from what I can see, if we go inside the settings, there's no option to switch between API keys and that sort of thing. Whereas if we go inside GenSpark here and we go to the video generation section, we can switch between all these different video generators like Kling, Pixverse, Luma Labs, Gemini Veo 2, Hunyan. We can also switch between image to video. So we can, for example, upload an image of myself and then turn that into a video. We can switch between the dimensions on the video. And then also we can choose how long we want it to be for, right? So if you're on the plus plan, you get five to 10 seconds. If you're on the normal plan, you get three to five seconds, all right? And again, like if you look back at Manus here, it is quite slow when you're going back and forth with it, right? So you can see here how it's still stuck on the create video and script section, despite us like giving the prompt quite a few minutes ago. It just feels like right now, Manus might be due an upgrade. I'm sure they're working on it to improve it. But from what I can see, this is a total step up side by side. This is super interesting as well. I've never seen this on any other AI and I've never seen it being this easy. It's quite 
scary how powerful this is. So there's a call for me section. So you can actually get your AI agent and I would be careful about using this, especially in the US for obvious reasons, compliance reasons, but you can say call for me. And then you can say, book a table at Let John for next Wednesday, right? <laughs> and you can see here, it's literally done a phone call, right? It's actually made a phone call with Lechon. That's the known number. It's created a example right here. You can actually play back the video conversation and then it's actually booked in that course. It says your table reservation for Alice Johnson's birthday celebration has been secured. The reservation is for two people on April 2nd at 6 p.m. And here's the details, right? Which is crazy. I don't know if that's actually real. I haven't tested it. I would be careful about what um, that sort of thing. But if that's actually real and that's a genuine conversation, it's scary stuff, right? So if you want it to call for you, you can go to the AI agents here, select one of these super agents who will go with the call for me section, hit plus task, and it supports calls to the US and Canada plus Japan. Click on next, you enter your phone number, you connect it with a verification code, and then you set up the steps and follow it right there. All right. So there's all these different agents, for example, cross-checking, data searching, call for me, agentic deep research, and GenSpark super agents as well. Crazy stuff. Now, if you're wondering, okay, what are the benchmarks like side by side? So you got GenSpark, Manus, OpenAI deep research, and SOTA. So we'll pull this up and I'll show you the tweet from GenSpark right here. So you can see the benchmarks here. I always take these benchmarks with a little pinch of salt. So just be careful with this. But you can see here, for example, you got GenSpark absolutely leading the pack. Now, this is ridiculous compared to OpenAI Deep Research. So if we look at the Gaia benchmarks here, OpenAI Deep Research, which is seen as one of the leading AI companies in the world, and certainly is, they're falling behind by quite a long way. So they're in like gray over here, and they're scoring like 47% at level three versus GenSpark, which is 58%. GenSpark is 72% versus OpenAI Deep Research is... 69% and they're also beating Manus by a fair way on each of these benchmarks at level one, two, and three. So it's pretty crazy stuff. I think this is going to absolutely blow up. Bear in mind, this has only been announced like literally a few hours ago, like 24 hours ago, something like that. So definitely check it out. And also the other thing to note here is it's got a bunch of tools in here, premium data sets, and also nine different LLM models built in. Whereas I think Manus was mostly a mixture of Quen and Claude 3.7 Sonnet. So exciting stuff right here. You can see the benchmarks. You can see how powerful this is. And you should definitely check it out, right? I can't wait to test more of this. If you just want to see all the examples of what's been created previously, then just go to home and you can click on the examples right here. So you can see these examples. Then if you want to go to your history, you can see all your history inside this section as well. And then if you want to upgrade your plan, just go to the upgrade plan section right here. You can switch between monthly and annually. And yeah, crazy stuff. A lot of people will be saying, oh, this is just a wrapper or something, or this is just a wrapper. But the thing is like, that's the whole point, right? Because if you would set up that wrapper yourself and to program it and set up all these tools manually, it's so much work. It's so much time. Like even setting up something like Open Manus inside Terminal is a lot of work and a lot of people struggle with it. Whereas you can just go into GenSpark, you log in, get a free account, Within a minutes, you can test it out and try it for yourself. There's no other super agent that I've seen that can actually make phone calls for you. That is scary stuff because you can understand how that could be used and how that could potentially be misused as well. And there's all these examples on the website. So if you go to M-A-I-N, Funk, you'll see all these different examples of the benchmark, what it can do. So for example, like buying GIFs, analyzing earthquake data, coding 3D visualizations of complex maths formulas, so we can replay that. If we jump to the result here, we can actually see the example. I mean, it, the UI is very similar to Manus, let's be honest. Like I'm sure this has been used as some inspiration, but you can see how smooth that animation is right there. If we switch between these, which is pretty crazy, very complex task. I think if you want to build like a SaaS tool, for example, like this could be absolutely amazing. And you can see some examples. People might be asking, okay, why does it work better? It's a mixture of different AI agents and tools. You've got different tool sets in-house. It's also got data sets in-house, right? So for example, like distilling web, pre-build stuff, that sort of thing. Thanks for watching. If you want to get all of my best tips, workflows, prompts, AI agents, etc., feel free to get that inside the AI Profit Boardroom. This is the place where we share all our best systems for really making AI practical, right? There's tons of AI tools out there, 
but it's hard to figure out, okay, what's the best to use or how do you use this right now? What's the best tool set that's working literally this week? Because it does change week to week. Then feel free to jump on the live Q and A's and post inside the community and take advantage of all the courses inside the classroom as well. The prices are going up for the AI Profit Boardroom at the end of the month. So make sure you sign up now, link in the comments description. And this is focused on just making more money and saving time with AI. So you can see all the different individual courses that we've got. So even if we go to the SAP section here, you can see all these different SAPs that we've got. We're updating it every single day. We've got different courses. So for example, like even just for email and content automation, we have all these videos and different tutorials right here. And also, if you want to get all of my best AI agents, you can get that inside the AI agent section over here. Top of that, inside the community here, you can post inside and just ask our community, the 693 members, any questions you have about AI and how it works, etc. Right? People are blown away by Manus. Wait till they check out GenSpark because this is a totally different level of AI agents. It's called a super agent. I would agree. Like, it's wild. An AI agent that can just go off and make phone calls for you, that's scary stuff. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot, feel free to get that on this free link building acceleration session. You'll get a custom tailored SEO game plan to generate more lead sales and profits from Google to your website. So if you want higher profit margins, if you want tons of customers, if you want to generate customers on autopilot, feel free to get the free SEO strategy session. You can ask any questions live on the call, right? And this is based on how we've 10X our SEO clients traffic, like you can see from all the testimonials right here. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.